You still got your better club on? He does, yes. He looks like he's about to rob a bank. Hello, Lady Lone Wolf. Um, you, you want to know what is the most dangerous out of our big five? Lady Lone Wolf, I'm going to say a few things about that question. The first is that I find the big five, the term big five, to now be uh, fairly offensive, simply because it's an old hunting term, and it describes the animals that were supposedly most dangerous to hunt. Now, what it's done, what the marketing gurus of the world have done is turn the big five into the be-all and end-all of African safari game viewing, which has discounted and probably detrimentally affected the conservation status of a number of other species. For example, cheetah are not part of the big five. Uh, giraffe are not part of the big five. And nor are hippo, uh, nor are so many of the other magnificent animals that we get out here, wild dogs. And so when people come out here and say they want to see the big five, I think they've, you know, they've been sold a bit of a yarn by, by marketers. And I think it's a poor term, to be honest. Um, but the most dangerous, well, any animal, that, if you attack it and corner it, is going to be dangerous. From the smallest dike, and I really mean that. I mean, I, I spoke to a chap who was a game capturer. You know, he did game capture for a living. The most terrifying experience he ever had was with a dike. So a tiny little diker which attacked him and his wife. He had to, he had to beat it off with his, with his wife's handbag. I'm not kidding you. He had to beat a diker off with his wife's handbag. Of the big five, they're all equally as dangerous as each other. If you corner one of them, they're gonna give you, they're, you're going to be in trouble. Are, they, are these buffalo dangerous? A hunter will tell you that these buffalo are terribly dangerous. I guarantee you that if I got out of the car and clapped my hands now, they'd run away. And the only reason that they are dangerous to hunters is if you shoot one or when you injure it, well, then it's going to go and lie in a bush and wait for you. And when you come after it again, well, you can get what you basically, I mean, it's pretty easy to predict what you're going to get. So that's my take on the big five.